the most limited angle is at the bottom. So if I expand this picture and make it further away, i.e. the guy on the left further from the guy on the right, that limitation becomes more and more acute. Smaller. The angle gets less as it gets further away, meaning that you lose more and more and more from the bottom up. Diffraction limits are based on the aperture of the thing you're viewing through, not the angle to whatever you're looking at. Do you want to expand on this and then explain where this effect is accounted for in Earth Curve Maths, please? Yeah, you said it's based on the angle to the thing. That's incorrect. It's based on the diffraction limits are based on the aperture of whatever you're looking through. I see. And that's accounted for where in Earth Curve Maths? The Rayleigh criteria. Where's that in Earth Curve Maths? In the Earth Curve Math? Well, yeah. You're talking about, you're what you're yeah, about. yeah, yeah. I'll reply. In the Earth Curve Maths... There aren't any calculations for diffraction limits based on aperture. No, 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 no. We see the side of our own head holding the camera. We don't actually calculate for what the camera sees when we do earth curve maths. It puts it in side view, something that absolutely does not look like what we see when we compare that maths to pictures. It doesn't have the Rayleigh criterion in it. Whatever gave you that idea? Why would it be that you're here telling me about how the Rayleigh criterion works when it's not working in your earth curve maths. But if I move these objects closer together or I take them much further away, these diffraction patterns will start to get closer together. Now, there is a limit to how close they can get before I actually um, can't tell them apart anymore. When the brick actually occupies a space smaller than that, that's where it's no longer resolvable. So I'm a bit confused as to why the intimation was that the two things weren't linked. Now, you have to have the Rayleigh criterion to work from for the rest of what you're describing it. It was implied that it had nothing to do with it. It's not in Earth Curve Maths doing that work, though, now, is it? And when I point that out, he runs away? Yeah, thanks, cats. you got people from your own side telling me how the Rayleigh Criterion works. Oh, happy Whoa. day. Whoa. Happy day. He'll be in the after, after show. I see my so He came here and told me about how the Rayleigh Criterion worked. All I did was ask him where it was in Earth Curve Maths. And the simple answer is, it isn't. But they're all telling me how this effect can make things disappear into the distance through a limited angle, diffraction limit. They're telling it to me. Oh, happy day. It doesn't really matter. Oh, go ahead, Brian. I know you're trying to get in there.